Hey guys, I am Sid and today I am going to make a video on Tata Harrier Kaziranga edition. So first I will look at this key. This is the key of this Tata Harrier. You get the lock function, unlock function. This is the light function. If you want to light your car in the crowd, then you can spot it through this. And this is the boot opening function. So this is the key. You get the keyless entry for this car. So before starting the video, I would like to give a thanks to the Unity Motors Kolapur who allowed me to make a video on it. Now let's straight away move towards the front. So now let's open the engine bay first. It's a bit heavy. So now this car gets 2 liter car, uh, turbocharged cryotech engine, diesel engine, which produces about 167.63 bhp of power and 3, uh, 350 Nm of torque from 1750 rpm to 2500 rpm, made with 6 speed manual and 6 speed uh, torque converter gearbox, which is eventually borrowed from the Hyundai Tucson last generation. So, and the clear. Uh, claimed ARI mileage of this car is about 17 kmpl. So now let's straight away move towards the exterior and the interior of this car. So at the front you get this mesh grille. So now they have blacked out in this Kazaranga edition. Now you eventually you get the blacked out grille for the uh, Harrier and you get the chrome uh, finish in Safaris. But uh, in if you see in Adventure Persona edition there also they have used the blacked out color. So this is the Tata logo you can see. Here is the number plate area. Now here you have the DRLs as well as the indicators embedded in it. Underneath you do get the projector headlamps and halogen headlamps as well. So you do get projector headlamps with the halogen as well. For the high beam is the halogen. Underneath halogen you get this fog lamp setup. So this is now this car gets a split headlamp setup you can see over here. Now it looks very cool from here. Now at the front the tire size of this uh, uh, of the front tire is about 235-65 or 17 inches you get this diamond cut alloy wheels and you also do get the normal wheels for the base variants and you do get the disc brakes at the front now you get the uh, independent lower wishbone macpherson strut suspension with the uh, coil spring and anti roll ball suspension at the front and you get the semi independent uh, with a twist blade uh, with pan hard rod and uh, coil spring suspension at the rear and you get the drum brakes at the rear so these are the stats of this suspension of this car here you have the Kazaran uh, Rhino badge which uh, identifies or which uh, which makes you realize that you are riding a Kazaranga edition car. You get the Aerotune wipers to give you a good amount of wiping capacity. It means it clears the dust and the water of the windshield and will really offer you a great view. You get the electro folding war VMs with indicators in it. Now this is a dual tone color. You can see it looks very cool. You also get the, some black element over this handles door handles you get the passive entry function as well and here is the secret key that i will tell you afterwards so this is how the side looks like and the rear tire size is about 235-65 or 17 inches as i have said before it gives a semi independent uh, with the twist blade pan hot rod and uh, coil spring suspension at the rear and you get the drum brakes at the rear you also have tata embossing so this is a fuel tank of this car now coming back to the rear you get this smoke tailery headlamps you can see uh, uh, tail lamps not the headlamps it's the tail lamps you get the blacked out effect as well this is the indicator your tail lamp and the reverse light is situated over here this is also carried through the you can also see this type of headlamps in safari as well as in albatross here you have the tata logo reverse parking camera harrier badging blacked out harrier badging and the rear you get the two parking sensors this here is the one and another one is over there you can see this you do get the rear reflectors and this is a bumper of this car and now you get the fake exhaust system and the real exhaust is underneath the car you only get a single tip exhaust you can see and the spare tires and un situated underneath the bumper or inside the car here you also get you also do get the re uh, rear wiper with a defogger and washer and here you have the high mount stop line this is spoiler integrated spoiler of this car here also you have harrier badging this is the hair badging you do get hair badging this type of hair badging in normal version as well this is how the kazaranga edition looks like now let's take a move towards the inside and let's check out what it offers for the driver co-driver now before going inside i am going to tell you one safety feature is that means uh, suppose if the battery of this key has been down and you are uh, shut off and you have to go inside of the car then what you have to do is here is a secret key you have to just you can see over here is the button just push this button and the key will come out from here and you have to just insert the key over here and it will open the door that's a good feature 
means it is a uh, it is very good when you are stuck inside when someone is stuck inside the car and the battery of this smart key has been shut off so now the opening of the door is wide so you won't feel any uh, uh, obstacle or uh, difficulties when getting in and out of this car now you get these are the controls for your power windows this is to lock the window this is to open the door this is to lock and unlock the door here you have the grab handle they have uh, some of uh, some amount of the padding for the armrest it's a bit hard not soft here you have the door bins with some amount of the space to keep your tickets and these are the controls for the your war games so now let's sit straight away moving inside the car before moving inside the car you get that adjustable electrical adjustable seats and you also now get the ventilator seats for the harrier that's a good feature that they have add on in this cousin edition now getting in and out as i said before is not as uh, not uh, difficult as you see now here also have the stop line means it uh, helps in the night when you uh, park the car at the roadside and when you open the door then it will signify the rear car that yes the car from the front side had what can they have opened the door and be cautious about it so first i on the ignition so this is how it looks you get the semi digital instrument cluster first i'll adjust my seat oh man it's good so this is how the instrument cluster thing looks like see it welcomes you by saying tada now you get the semi digital instrument cluster for the so sorry for the interrupt because the fm radio was on now you get 8.8 .8 inch of uh, infotainment touchscreen system with suppose android auto and apple carplay and also the ira connectivity app of the tata so this is what it all offers for the infotainment system it also shows apple car radio usb settings voice command you can also do the voice command you can pair your phone you have aux you have bluetooth you have cabin so cabin eqi it also you get the purifier that's a good amount and that's a good feature that they have add on you get the parking sensors and many more things you can also change the display if you want uh, theme so for the in in instrument console you get the semi digital instrument cluster uh, semi digital instrument cluster which shows for the analog part it shows the speedometer and the essential lights and for the digital part it shows rpm meter you are in which mode you are driving whether it's in city mode whether it's in drive mode activated sport drive mode activated City mode. Drive mode activated. It will inform you. Uh, it will inform you when you will activate the modes of this car. So that's a good feature on offer. Now, if you want to toggle the, you can toggle through the buttons that I have situated for the steering mode controls. You can toggle this instrument cluster. It shows the average fuel economy, instant fuel economy, can show the average speed. Again, it shows the trip A, trip B. Again, the power and torque, how much torque you are using, and the power, as well as for the, if you want to do, just tick it, press OK. It can, you can also change the settings. Service reminder is said about. Just I will go back. So this is what it all offers for the instrument cluster. Now you get this rack and pinion tilt and steering wheel. Just I'll show you how it operates. and telescope the steering is a bit too heavy which defines the toughness of this car and so this is how it looks on the left hand side these are the controls for your central MID uh, not central MID the instrument console so infotainment console not the instrument console so uh, the controls on the left hand side these are the controls for your infotainment system and the controls on the right hand uh, these are the controls of all the instrument cluster you get this tata badging and this is the horn let's check the horn of this car this is the horn of this car these are the toggles for your wipers you can see and on the right hand side these are toggles for your lights indicators now you get this square not the square but the oh, you can say the any <laughs> weird shape but stylish air convenience for the driver with this a little amount of uh, we can say uh, chrome plus that the uh, bra uh, what which color you can say the sand color that they have used for the Kazaranga edition there's a mixture of it with the glossy black finish you also do get that sand plus chrome uh, finish over this instrument console you can see the lines runs through this overall console now they have used hard plastics over here and there you do get this wooden finish wooden trim for this dashboard I hope you can see it 
I'll show you. See how it looks. It's a texturized wooden finish, which looks very good, which looks very premium. And you get this start stop button as well. Underneath the car, I think there's nothing. So for the center console that I have told before, this is a 8.8 inch of touchscreen. These are the shortcut buttons, shortcut key buttons. If you want to go shortcut, that's a very uh, good touch. These are the controls for your volume increasing and decreasing. And these are the central air conveyors. You can see. For I just and these are the controls for your uh, defogger, air defogger, and again hazard lamp switch. These are the mode activated buttons. Underneath you get this dual zone cli uh, automatic climate control. You can see it's not the dual zone; it's the automatic climate control. You can adjust the way you want. So th this is what it all offers. Now you get the five speed, uh, six speed manual gearbox and six speed torque converter, which is eventually borrowed from Hyundai Tucson. Here are the modes of this car. It also shows in which mode you are driving. First. Here is Wait more. Just a second. Rough road mode activated. Rough road. Wet mode. Wet mode activated. And this is a normal. You get three Second modes. Mode normal, wet and rough road. Means you can do a small a little kind of off-roading for the bad patches, not the extreme off-roading because you don't get any four-wheel drive system. I wish the Tata should offer the four wheel drive option for this Harrier then it would be a very good thing. Now you get the USB charging sockets at the front and aux socket as well. You can see over and here is some space to keep your phones or the tickets. So here you have the antique style handbrake which looks very good. You get only electric parking brake for the Safari not for the Harrier but I wish they should include that feature in Harrier as well. You get twin cup holders and armrest as well. Underneath the armrest, do you do get some space and the armrest is cool one. You also get the 12 volt charging socket and two USB ports. So this is what it all, what it all offers. Now the armrest is fixed, not the slideable, but it offers good amount of comfort for the driver. Now the glove box is the decent amount of the size with the illumination. Now you get the dual stage glove box. You can, you can see the double decker with the illumination. So for safety reasons, uh, for uh, for safety feature, this car is equipped with six airbags, ABS plus ABD, and that 14 ESP modes. So here you get the auto dimming IR VM. You can see you get the manual sunshade for the driver. You get the sunshade with the vanity mirror for the co-driver and the light as well. These are the controls for to open your sunroof. You can see the sunroof is wide. That's a good. Here you have controls for your lights. You get white lights, LED lights. So these are the things that it all offers for the front. Now the talking about the seats. Now the seats are quite comfy, and you will come to know. We will come to know more about these seats when you will drive this car for on city as well as on highways, and we'll take it this car for the long tour. So these are the things that it all offers for the front passengers. Now two things that I have missed out that I'm gonna cover is now you also get a traction control on-off system for this and a hill descent control as well. That's a good thing, good feature on an offer this is a handbrake and you also get that chrome plus what i have said before that sand color mixture uh, lining through the center console you can see so now let's take away move towards the rear and let's check out what it all offers for the rear passengers the height of this car is also quite good enough So the rear door opening is also wide. Here you do get the these are the controls for your windows, and this is to open the door. This is to lock and unlock the door. Here you have the grab handle. You have soft. They have um, padded armrest. It's not soft. It's hard. You have the door beams. No, yeah, they have made a clever touch. First over here. Here you have some space to keep your mobile, and underneath you get the door beams. So this is what it all offers. I can, can see over here. You get the door bins. I'll make the light. Huh. Here you have some space to keep your phone and underneath you get the door bins. So this is what it all offers for the rear passenger or uh, rear passenger driver side. Uh, sorry, door on the driver side and you get the nine speakers, JBL sound system, which offers a good amount of the sound quality. Now see how the big sunroof is. It's very big and it enlines your cabin, a darkened cabin, so yeah, so that you won't feel any claustrophobic. Now for the amenities, you get here, you have some 
what we can say the space to keep your phone <laughs> while charging and you get two usb ports and another good thing is that they have uh, fitted the what uh, aircon vents are other than fitting over on the central console but they have fitted to the b pillars so which is a good feature and it helps to cool your cabin very fast and very efficiently so this is what it all offers no not what this has not yet finished before going then you get this armrest at the rear with the twin cup holders and adjustable headrest to adjustable headrest the setting of the third people is also good because the seat is flat and they say you do get the center tunnel but it is not the big it's small only only one concern is that you just sit a little bit higher as compared to the left side passenger or the right side passenger so sitting of the three people is very good and you will feel comfortable because this carry is much more wider than a segment in a segment and you also get the coat hook as well as a grab handle and your reading lights which are led that's a nice touch here they have written the airbag you see you get three point seat belts and you also get isofix child, uh, child mounts these are the seat belt anchor points so this is what it all offers at the rear now let's check out its boot okay first of all get this car and the comfort of the seat at the rear is also good and the recline angle is also good I wish the recline they have should recline a little more, a, li a little more, so that you will, it will offer more comfort. But it's okay for the longer drives. You won't feel any tiredness or the fatigue. So now let's check our motor towards the rear. Let's check out its wood. So you you get uh, 425 liters of the massive wood space, and you also have the 640 split. Underneath here you have the space saver and just a second uh, here also get you get the speakers at the rear you have the boot light with the shopping bag hooks as well if you want uh, so you can tie your shopping bags so that your things won't get split up uh, here also have some space to give uh, these are the space to keep your jacks and inflate tire inflator etc very essential things when you're going for the road trip so you also get the parcel shelf you can see it's quite uh, what we can say it is very it can hold good amount of weight and you get this grab handle to pull your boot boot lid uh, tailgate so this is what it all offers for the tata Safa, uh, tata harrier now let's check out its dimensions the dimension of this car is as such now you uh, the length of this car is about 4598 mm the width is about 1894 mm the height is 1706 mm and the wheelbase is about 2741 mm and the most important thing that the, you get the 2000, uh, 205 mm of the ground clearance so this was all about the tata harrier now i'll just quickly show what it all uh, how it looks so i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed it please like share and subscribe to my channel also uh, if you want to buy this car if you are in kolapur and if you want to buy any of the tata cars even though it may be ev any punch or the next one then do visit the unity motor showroom they will give you a good, good car at the good discounts i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed it please like share and subscribe to my channel also don't forget to press the bell notification so that you won't miss a single upload till then rise of dash of take care i'll see you next